sometimes you just need to be reminded uh, that you are what you want to be. Hello there, Internet, and welcome back to another video. So this one is special. It's called Emotion Tag. This tag was originally created in 2012 by Padfoot and Prongs07. Uh, I couldn't find the original video, uh, but, you know, it exists somewhere in the Internet. I love the premise of it, but I am extra AF. I also struggled to really pick one book. I don't think I'm capable of doing so. So I made things... Uh, more complicated. So instead of answering um, questions uh, one emotion at a time and picking one book, I decided that I would list out books based on a specific emotions. So one emotion per video. And we'll be starting with uh, Robert Pluchik's, I think that's how you pronounce it, theory uh, that defines uh, the eight basic emotions. And if people like it, we can expand into the more complicated ones. So today the emotion we are going to be doing is joy and these are going to be books that either um bring me joy because of themselves and their plot or because of just the memories associated with these books now first up we have uh, a classic pride and prejudice um i love this cover now <laughs> this is a book i have owned at one point three copies of i have since i believe downgraded to one copy it's one of the first books that's sort of like a classic uh, that really I love and is one of my favorites. I love every version of Pride and Prejudice, including the uh, Lizzie Bennet Diaries. Next is a book that I recommend to anyone who is some sort of creator, um, not just a writer, which is what it's pertaining to. You are a writer, so start acting like one by Jeff Goins. So this book uh, brings me joy because um it came into my life randomly like it was one of those random amazon recommended books and i bought it just thinking it might just be another book that sits on my shelf that i read and then kind of get over it's not your typical uh writing helping guide thing it's more of just like a kick in the ass like you do writing you are a writer and i highly recommend it for anyone whether you're a writer or not uh, get yourself something, this book or something similar, the equivalent of it in your field, because sometimes you just need to be reminded uh, that you are what you want to be. So this next book is um, another one that I bought randomly on the internet. Uh, I don't actually know how I came upon it. It's called It Ended Badly, 13 of the Worst Breakups in History by uh, Jenny Wright. This is a book that I literally read in, I think, one day. It's sort of self-help, but also sort of like history, so like nonfiction, because it does go through uh, 13 historical relationships and their breakups. And I think this is perfect for anyone who is going through a breakup, who is um, single, who just needs uh, a good laugh and maybe a good cry, depending. Next is my favorite book from childhood, and that is The Secret Garden. Also, I love this book cover. So uh, the reason that this one brings me joy is it is uh, one of my favorite books from childhood that I can remember. I love the movie um, and just the ideas when I was idea from when I was a kid of um, going out and exploring the world and everything's new, everything's unknown, um, and just the joy that comes from exploring that. Next, I have Seriously and Kidding by Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, this book is one of the few memoirs that brings me joy or at least brought me joy when I read it. Now what I love about this book is that it doesn't just have you know a memoir it has journals it has um coloring pages it, it has multimedia no multimedium no multi-prose that's I think what I was thinking. Now the next one is from one of my favorite people on this planet and that is from Felicia Day, You're Never Weird on the Internet, Almost. Oh, look at that reflection. Whoa. So uh, this is a book I actually wrote a book review on for the literary journal that I was uh, working on back in the day. It feels like coming home because it validated a lot of the things I was feeling in terms of being a woman in the gamer space. But it, it truly, I highly recommend uh, taking a read through this memoir, whether you're in the gamer space or not. Uh, I think it's a, it has a lot of important... Uh, values in it. Next I have Vampire Academy by 
Rochelle Mead. Please stop glaring at it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this is, wow, well, this is an old one. What is this from? 2007. Jesus. This book brought me joy because it was one of the few that I found um, at the time, you know, back in like high school days, where the main character was a woman and she was very strong, very sassy. I really related and resonated with her a lot. Not so much the falling in love with the teacher part, but like, you know, <laughs> the other parts. And um, I really liked it because it is about um, vampires, but there's so much more to the world than just humans versus vampires. Like there's there's a lot going on in it. There's magic, um, but it also explores the relationship between two best friends as well. So it's got a lot into in it um, and it really does address uh, grief and, you know, mortality and stuff uh, in a really, really uh, conducive way. Um, so I just, I love this book. I love the movie. I love everything about it. I want more. Now the final book is could be a surprising one on this list, but it is Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I've read this a lot. Uh, in fact, there are pages that are written and highlighted in. So this book I read for a class in college. And the reason that it brings me joy is because of the, the class was small. It was a bunch of writers and the professor was a really good professor, a really positive professor and his last semester was actually the semester that I was in his class and reading this book. We ended up actually making a, a getting a retirement party together for him uh, within the class and um, it just brings me back to a time during college that was actually good. I don't really remember most of the plot to be really honest with you but I remember the feeling and the comfort that comes when I think about this book and I see it on my shelf. And that was the final book. So that has been my full list of books that give me joy. But uh, I'm curious to know what book or books or series brings you joy. So please feel free to comment that below. And if you like this video, if you want me to keep going with these, feel free to also let me know. Give this video a like, hit subscribe, head on over to Patreon, where I tend to tell people that I love them a lot. And also, um just post behind the scenes, post extra stuff there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep on shining, storyteller.